Vivaldi just dropped a new version and for Linux this is going to be massive. Stick around and let's find out. Hi everyone, my name is Robert Meissen and I make videos on beep beep stuff. Vivaldi is a web browser and there are many of these around, Chrome being the most popular, Safari and so on. Vivaldi is pretty new to the scene which came out around 2016 and it is available on macOS, Windows and Linux. For the purpose of this video we are going to be focusing on the Linux release because it is quite important for the Linux community in my personal opinion and hopefully that the rest of you would agree with this also. Version 5.3 of Vivaldi just dropped a few days ago from the recording of this video and honestly it has been one of the most inspiring and amazing pieces of software I've seen released from a company in the last few years, especially for the Linux community. If you want to get the Vivaldi browser, you can head down to the link in the description below and I'll post a link there. The company is pretty small, they're based out of Norway, and their focus seems to have been on a lot of features and a certain core level of understanding regarding web browsers and adding in features as they go. But in the latest release, they did something that I have not seen in most browsers, which is integration of mail, calendars, and other services, but in a really good way. And it seems like, from the perspective of a user, the developers at Vivaldi did something unusual. Rather than focus on features, rather than focusing on adding in more and more technologies, it seems that their main focus looked at user experience which for me is the most important aspect of Linux development. It's a area that Linux lacks and certainly when software comes out that is written specifically for Linux or has a dedicated Linux version, user experience focus is one of those areas that tends to get looked over and Vivaldi has completely bucked that norm and shown you that you can make something absolutely incredible. It's very nice to use. This video is going to cover two parts. The first part is that we're going to look at some of the features of Vivaldi. I'm going to show it off on my machine. I'm going to show you what it looks like and some of the features on there. There are so many to cover that I cannot possibly do it in one video. And the second part of this video will be just briefly discussing the importance of the Vivaldi release for the Linux platform. So here we are at my computer. I'm just going to open up Vivaldi directly. Uh, and here you can see uh, what it looks like. Um, there's a lot to go through. I'm not going to go through all the features, but as with most browsers, you have like your pin stuff at the start. Um, now on here, we can change the uh, default search engine. There's a bunch of them. I've got it set to start page. It has blocking, ad blocking and tracking blocking, which is really good. Obviously something you'd expect the standard layout at the top. On the left hand side, you've got this bar. You can show and hide this by clicking down in the bottom left. If you want to, uh, you can have multiple pages of tabs here um, you have a way to pause all of the content uh, so you can focus more um, you have syncing for your bookmarks and so on on the bottom right you have a zoom function for the actual browser itself as well as taking a screenshot directly uh, and turning off images on web pages and stuff which is very useful if you don't want them to be shown up uh, and of course you've got your various plugins now the new Vivaldi browser has a chromium base so you can use chrome extensions which is really great so I have like um, my two buddy one for YouTube obviously now the biggest thing about uh, Vivaldi has been the integration of the calendars and so on to it. Now you can see them up here as well, but also very useful on the side. Now if I were to click on a calendar here, it would actually show me a calendar on the left. Now what's really great about this side panel is actually this side panel can be basically anything and this, this is open for development too, but you can have this be a web page if you want, so you could have web pages side by side. But you can have a calendar here, you can set up mail through this way. Now I've got it turned off for the purpose of recording this video. Uh, you have translate in here, uh, you have a note taking feature, reading lists and stuff like that in here as well. Uh, you can take notes like I mentioned, you can add contacts in here, RSS feeds in here. Now what's really amazing about this is actually that if I were to just click on a web page here, now, if I load up uh, Geekbench website here, for example, you can see um, I have the, like, the, the full page layout. Now I can close down the side tab, like I said, um, and also uh, if you press pause, you can kind of turn off the content so you're not being distracted and so on. But you've got your standard tab thing at the top. I mean, 
I've just been using this for a while. There's so much stuff here. Um, it, the pay, it'll tell you if it offers page feeds in here. So the browser itself can be quite advanced. It's got a lot of stuff in there, which is makes sense considering the base, obviously, and the base developers kind of went for that uh, whole goal of adding in lots of features. It's so polished, it's so nice to use that everyone should definitely give this a try. It's fast, it seems to run really fast on my machine at least anyway. And of course with being a new release there might be some bugs here and there, but for me it's been basically rock solid. Um, I've really enjoyed using it. What's really amazing is that now the calendar is there in a proper way. The contacts are there in a proper way. Uh, all of the um, translate stuff is in there and the email is in there. It means that we can kind of use Vivaldi as a hub for everything regarding that rather than multiple programs. I have Evolution as you can see here at the top, but I don't really like it. It's the most fully featured email client. It's quite dated in its interface. It's not that nice to use. Hopefully the developers keep on doing more stuff with it, but it's just not a very modern application to use anymore. It doesn't look great to look and I like to use my system. I like to and I enjoy to use my system. So I don't enjoy using Evolution. It just functions as it does, but I enjoy using the Vivaldi mail. Uh, because normally when I'm using the mail and I'm browsing, I'm doing these things all at the same time. And now I have one program where I can do all of those things. Honestly, I wish I could just sit here for like 10 hours and show you all of the features. If you just go to the settings tab here, you can just see it is absolutely jam packed with settings, themes, everything you can change it is absolutely insane so for new users definitely the basic setup will work for you just fine but for those people especially in the linux community who like to tinker this browser will make you very happy i think so uh, definitely have a look at it there's a lot of really good software on the linux platform and a lot of the software most features and does what it says on the tin but the user experience in a lot of software is something to be desired. It's not always so great. And in the effort to add in features and technologies and standards into Linux, into Linux software, sometimes the user experience, or very often more than not, the user experience is kind of a bit of a sideline. The Linux community is really awesome at developing software. And most of these tend to be programmers and people are very, uh, experienced and very enthusiastic about programming. Therefore, the user experience tends to be an area that gets lacking a little bit. Vivaldi is one of those companies that seems to have developed the latest version of their browser. And I mean, it's hard to really call it a browser anymore at this point. It's kind of a whole suite because of all the extra features that you've just seen in the video. But the Vivaldi browser, uh, for lack of a better term, the user experience on Linux is so polished, it's so good that I mentioned this in a previous video when Linus Tech Tips was doing his uh, Linux video on whether or not Linux was ready for mainstream. And whilst we agree and disagree on some various things there, my general agreement was that Linux was not ready. It's not polished in certain areas. And that really relates down to first party hardware support and first party software support. And Vivaldi has kind of done something which is first party software support. It's it's designed in such a way that it's it's so polished, it's so good um, that I can't really explain how nice it is to use and forget that it's actually now sitting on Linux uh, and that it's, it's native for Linux and it runs so well. Uh, so I started using it a few days ago. I've really enjoyed it. It's been really amazing. And this kind of focus on development rather than Linux being an afterthought for development, it is now at the front because these releases came out at the same time. And that kind of shows you that their focus is like, okay, we're going to release this for Windows, Mac and Linux simultaneously, which means that Linux is a is a, actually a priority for them. And of course, obviously in the market share, Vivaldi is pretty low down there in comparison to other browsers. But on the Linux community, which is growing quite steadily over the last couple of years, especially with the release of Steam, uh, the Steam Deck and so on, it has been a growth. And Vivaldi is one of those browsers that seemingly looks to benefit from growth in uh, the Linux area. So with that being the case, their focus does make a lot of sense. So my congratulations to the Vivaldi developers. You've done an amazing job. I absolutely love the software. And if you have not tried Vivaldi, absolutely go down to the link in the description below, head over to the Vivaldi website, download it and try it because honestly, I think most people would be amazed. If there's something in the browser that you're not sure about or that you don't like, 
absolutely leave a comment down below. And if for the one in a millionth chance for Valdi developers see my video, they might be able to take that feedback into account. If there's something that you do like about the Vivaldi browser, again, also uh, let me know down below. I'd love to hear what people like about it and what they don't like about it. But from what I've seen, I, I really love this massive uh, improvement to the software. It's just such a great release. So I wanted to get it out there. As I said, again, link in the description below. Like the video, subscribe to the channel if you wanna see more from me and I'll see you in the next video.